Hey folks, today I want to talk to you about a rod that it took me a lot of time to really find what I liked for this presentation and I think I finally found it. So working these jigging wraps becoming super popular, especially with the emergence, emergence of active target, live sight, um, pan optics, whatever, whatever you'd like to call it, whatever your brand is. Um, I couldn't find a rod I really liked for it. And finally I tied it onto this. This is a 13 Omen Black a six foot ten medium light extra fast rod and frankly this has become far and away my favorite my favorite rod for for ripping jigging wraps like this as you can see it has seen a lot of love um, working working that bait i've knocked a couple pieces loose so we've got the electrical tape repairs i actually broke the reel so usually i would run a shimano sahara on it and i broke the reel doing that so right now it's got a shimano sienna um, you do want a faster reel for when you're doing this. So I do need to replace this one out because you're going to have a lot of slack in that line. So you want to be able to pick that slack up fast so you can get a good firm hook set. Because when you're ripping and you're ripping, especially out in that deep water, that's where that slack's going. Slack's going. Fish picks it up. You need that slack picked up so you can get a good firm hook set. Whew, almost knocked my hat off there. See, that's how firm you need your hook set to be. Um, and really, it, this, just, this rod has felt the best because you still need a really firm backbone but you want to have a soft tip so you can feel what's going on down there. I mean, if this thing gets fouled, if it gets turned around on itself, I can feel that through this rod, and I can certainly feel when a fish pins it down or picks it up on the fall. Um, do a lot of time, find, do your homework, find what you're comfortable with. I went through probably five or six rods before I really started liking this setup, and I hadn't even thought to do this because this was my backup pitching rod, and now it's become my favorite jig and wrap rod. So do your work. Check them out, especially if they're rods that you already have or if you can use a friend's, use a family member's. I highly encourage you to do it because as I said, it's all about comfort, especially these types of presentations, that you're working it day in, all day long, hours at a time, and you might not get a ton of bites doing it. And when you do, you really need to capitalize on it. Overall, I've been super happy with this omen. But the big story I want to tell you guys is definitely get your hands on as many rods as possible wherever you can find them. If you can purchase them, great. If you can borrow them, even better, that'll save you the money. You need to find the rod you're comfortable with, especially for presentations like this. Good fishing.